I've been flying fighter kites for over 20 years. And during that time, I have hit myself with my own kite many times. It hurts. It really hurts. I've also been hit by the kites flown by other fighter kite flyers. It also hurts. Now, all of that is accidental, of course, but doesn't change the fact that it still hurts. I've also had my hands sliced with the flying line. The flying line I use and the most flyers use is a non-stretch synthetic line. That line, when it slips through your hands in an uncontrolled way, can just slice through your skin very easily. And as the kites get bigger and heavier, the issue with the line and also the amount of hurt that can occur from being hit by the kite increases exponentially. Doesn't matter what kind of kite, doesn't have to be a fighter kite, it can be any kite. But the bigger it is, and if it gets if you get hit by it, uh, you're gonna feel it or you might actually get seriously damaged from it. So there's another aspect to the flying line that's important to consider also, especially if you're flying at the beach. If you're at the beach, for example, and your flying line picks up sand, when it does that, it's about the same thing as having glass coated line. So if your line is filled with sand or sand is stuck to it in some way and you're flying a kite among other kite flyers, doesn't matter what other kind of kites, when your flying line comes in contact with those other kite lines, it's going to cut them. And they will lose their kite. The wind will just blow it away and chances are good, they're not gonna find it. So to be a responsible kite flyer, uh, especially a fighter kite flyer, where we only use one line to fly our kites, uh, we should pay close attention to having control of the kite and the kite line in the winds that we are flying in. And the bigger the kite, the more important that is. And it really uh, sunk into me the other day when I was flying this Wind Warrior kite, which is a beautifully made kite. And I was flying it in modest winds. It was about seven miles an hour. But because of the weight and size of this kite, and you know, the wind pressure on this size of a sail is really strong. So even in a modest wind, it was really pulling hard on the flying line compared to my normal flying uh, fighter kites that I fly. So it became clear to me if someone were watching me fly the Wind Warrior, for example, and I lost control, and this kite hit somebody, they could be seriously hurt. And I didn't, I don't want that. And I don't want that for you. And so I decided I should share this information, even though a lot of it is probably, you know, just obvious. <laughs> but nonetheless, I think it's important. And it's something that we all have to be really careful about as kite flyers.